How you doing? This is David Banner. This is Behind the Mic. You check out Where's the Love with Up. Because that Up is where it is. And I appreciate y'all. God bless. tell you is we go through couples therapy and a lot of laughter takes place yeah. but it's serious right. and um, I don't want to give it away I just think oh there we are now oh yeah I saw it over there right. you missed it that was it but anyway uh -huh. I'm really excited because they you know Tara and them really have believed in me for a very long time they give me an opportunity to play alongside so many great people it's such a blessing. I'm excited. Yes. Yo, know, you look great. I had the opportunity to already see the film. So I've already seen you in action. Yes, girl. I've already seen it. Yeah, you did it. Your face. Soon as the camera, we knew. I don't want to give it. But your face said it all. And I love it. I love it. Soon as it, it was very funny. It was very funny. You did an excellent job. Of course, I'm really not surprised. You are really multi-talented. I'm saying that from the heart. You know that I am. So, of course, I can't let you leave this carpet without talking about R&B Divas Atlanta. Of course, the season has already started. Two new girls. Girl, listen. R&B Divas is a transitioning for all of us as women. It's a growth process. My main goal in, in being there is to set a standard and a precedent for sisters that we're not all angry black women that we can work together we can be successful and we can have a good time so even though there are a lot of bumps in the road I love each and every one of those girls so much and I don't I don't take anything personal no more. well one thing I really appreciate is how you and Selena pulled together to deflect that situation and that's what women do so kudos to you and Selena really for pulling that in together and not letting it go out of control oh yeah we we have to uh, stand for something or we'll fall for anything I really think it's important for us to uh, hold up the banner uh, the truth the peace sign the it's okay you know um, Selena is an amazing artist and I love her so uh, with both our strong personalities, along with Kiki, who Kiki is actually turned out to be one of my favorite people. Now I have to congratulate you too, because I understand you are now a radio personality. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank God, um, I've transitioned. Another place that I really wanted to be was radio. 107.5, 97.5, um, Radio One gave me an opportunity to have my show. It's entitled Stone Cold R&B. Yes. And I'm really, really, really getting comfortable with what, it. What time? What time are you on? I'm on from 3 to 6 p.m. on Sundays. We launched a show in June, so after this month, you'll be hearing a lot more of Angie's Town. Woo! I'm always so excited for you. It's always a pleasure to see my girl Angie. Love you, darling. I love this woman. She's amazing. She's beautiful. And we hit it off right from the beginning. Kudos. We do. And I'm going to tell you, anything you need from me, I'm there for you because I love you. We're here in the red carpet of Where's the Love? Brad James, no stranger to red carpets, movies, or anything like that, of course. Tyler Perry's for better or for worse. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm always well. Always good to see I, you. I can tell you're doing well because you're radiating. <laughs> see? See the radiance, it shines through. I don't even know if the pixels can pick it up in the, in the camera here, but the radiation I'm seeing here, it's like warmth. Am I sweating? <laughs> 
See, that's why the ladies love <laughs> Brad James. He always says the right thing, knows what to say. I just speak from the heart. Absolutely. So tell us what's been going on with you. You know, it's 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 been great things. Uh, it's been it's been another great year in terms of promotions. Uh, we're still doing um, spokesperson work for national brands like uh, like Walmart and Southwest. Um, uh, the next season of For Better or Worse is uh, we're we're gearing up for that, and and there's a, there's a season on right now, and we're about to go through some trials and tribulations on there that are going to be a, a a great adventure. Some stuff we haven't been able to touch on before, um, as the as the characters were being built. So now. I, I'm, I don't even know what I can tell you. I don't, I don't even know what I'm at liberty to say, but stay tuned. Yeah. Well, we definitely will. Now, summer's coming. Uh -huh. What do we have things going on personally? Uh, Essence Festival's coming up. You think you'll be rocking the Essence Festival this year? That, that's a possibility. Um, scheduling's always, um, when, 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 you're, when you're doing TV and film and then personal appearances, it, the, the, the scheduling's always up in the air, but I want to get out to as much positive uh, uh, um, uh, supporting type things that I can get out to while I have the opportunity to do that. So, you know, that, that's why um, I really enjoy relationships like this with Up TV. Um, it's world films and just you know so much positivity coming out of there so you can just attach yourself to these projects yes. and know that you're doing something good that you can look back on and say you know I'm proud of that and we did something good and it was controversial and entertaining and I learned something and it's just Absolutely. that's all you can dream about Absolutely. Yeah. now of course we're on the red carpet of where's the love so when you think about where's the love just in a general aspect what do you think about where is where is the love? When I think about where is the love, I think about the bedroom. No, I'm playing. I'm I'm oh. I'm half playing. I'm, I'm kind of telling the truth, I but I'm kind of playing. The truth. No, um, um, you know, for for me, when I think about where is the love, I think about um, uh, truth. Mm. Truth. You know, sometimes people say loyalty, but I think about truth. I think about the fact that um, no matter how things seem, um, uh, being able to be true with somebody shows love because it shows yeah. a level of respect yeah. you know what I mean but you know men sometimes have a problem with being that vulnerable for different reasons sometimes I think men don't think women want us to know their past or what they're really thinking or I think we can't handle the truth uh-huh do you agree with that I'm not throwing I'm not throwing my fellow man under the bus <laughs> on that well, just talk about yourself, then. <laughs> I'm not throwing me under the, no uh, um you know, I th I think it I think it can be it can be difficult, but it's, you know what? It's not necessarily um, for me a problem to um, to to share a lot of things from my past, but I do choose carefully who I share it with. So once I start letting that information go, you better know that you got something that everybody doesn't get. And, you know, I I also don't believe in just just letting all your stuff out there. I think you know I think I think we live in an age right now where we're just putting too much of our business in the streets. You know, every, everything you're doing, you know, I'm, I'm right here, I'm having this meal, you know, that's all fine and good. But once you start putting your personal information on there, you use your, you use your uh, uh, social media for your diary, right. you're starting to run into problems. There yeah. you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you and enjoy your night. Okay, okay. Take care, honey. <laughs>